The president elect faces a rough few days ahead after CIA officials have come forward to claim that Russia was ultimately trying to help Trump win. Several electoral college members are considering changing their vote. We're going to tell you exactly how that could affect the presidency right now on IO. What's up, guys? I'm Jared. I'm Charlotte. We're eating carrots because they're good carrot? for your eyes. Yeah. So on December 19th, the electoral college will cast their votes. And ultimately choose who becomes president. They do have the power to change their vote and change the outcome of the election. Many of them are considering changing their vote because intelligence agencies have come forward to say they have strong evidence to suggest that Russia influenced the outcome of the election. They did this by providing leaked emails to WikiLeaks that changed the public's outlook toward the Democrats. Donald Trump did have something to say about the idea of Russia hacking the US election. He called the accusations just another excuse for a Clinton loss. Now, this is obviously a very touchy subject, and it does seem like kind of suspicious. I mean, the leaks hurt Hillary's campaign very badly, and it made it impossible for many Americans to trust her or the Democratic Party. This helped Trump win the election that even he thought he wouldn't win. Now, before you guys freak out, Trump actually said he didn't think he'd win, so we're not making that up. But in a statement to the Wall Street Journal, the CIA said the following It's concerning that intelligence on Russian actions related to the US election is being dismissed out of hand as false or politically partitioned. The inclination to ignore such intelligence and impugn the integrity of the US intelligence officials is contrary to all that is sacred to national security. Security professionals who work day and night to protect this country. Now, again, guys, those are really big words that I would never even say or probably understand. So, you guys could guarantee we did not make that up. They said that because. I, that's not on my vocabulary. Not sure if you guys remember this, but Trump once told the Russians to hack and release Clinton's deleted emails that caused such a controversy in the 2016 election. He said, Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails. That are missing. So, despite all of this, Trump has denied any involvement with the Russians. Still, though, there's a lot of talk at this point and very little evidence. We're kind of just supposed to take the CIA's word for it, which I don't know if I could do, but as a government agency that's supposed to protect American citizens, their accusations are hard to ignore. Already, Electoral College members are trying to do what has never been done before. They're trying to change the outcome of the election. And one Harvard University law professor is trying to help make it happen. Larry Lessig has been offering free legal advice to Electoral College members who want to change their vote. Larry Lessig actually tried to run for the 2016 Democratic presidential nomination. According to him, 20 Republican members of the Electoral College are considering voting against Donald Trump. In order to change the outcome of the election, 37 Electoral College members need to change their vote. So that's a little more than half. At this time, it's not entirely certain if it's actually going to happen. Only one electoral member, Chris Suffren of Texas, has publicly declared that he would defy Trump. But I think it's really important that if any Electoral College members are considering changing their vote, that they don't do it until the Russian hacking happens. Has been proven 100%. If Trump won fair and square, obviously he has the right to be president. I guess we'll all have to wait until December 19th to be certain. President Obama wants the investigation done before he leaves office on January 20th. What do you think will happen? You gotta let us know in the comments down below. Okay, guys, it's comment time. So these comments were on our Why You Should Stop Vaping update video. Ritter12321 said, I don't care what he said, you said it as well. That's why I blame you. That's just silly. You guys should know that we're just reiterating what's already in the news. That's great that you're getting so emotional, but don't blame us. We have no control over the news, we just report on it. Like literally. Hmm. The equivalent to that is like us saying Donald Trump didn't think he would win and you guys saying, Donald Trump never said that. It's like, well, he said it though. Yeah. But you know, people will be people. Dean Liddell said, loving these video updates. Thanks, Dean. Actually, no, he said, loving these update videos. Thanks, Dean. But either way, yeah, thanks, Dean. You're the bomb. Hope you're doing well, man. Christina Oliveira said, I love what you guys are doing. I'm with you 100%, and people need to back off. It's ridiculous. Thank you for agreeing with us. We appreciate your support. Mm -hmm. Super well. Fangirl said, I haven't watched you in a long time. Luckily, my recommendation found you. Welcome back to the channel, Fangirl. Yeah. Glad you like our content. Do you want a carrot? They're good for your eyes, but I'm not a doctor. I don't really know much else. Um, yeah. So I we guess. hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah. As always, uh, make sure to subscribe. If you like us, you can check out our channels. We got tons of new merchandise you guys can check out too. As always, we want to know what you guys are doing in your day-to-day -day lives. So follow us on social media. Tweet at us. Instagram at us. Facebook at us. Don't Facebook me. Facebook at IO. 